Damon here! <laughs> What's up everyone, I go by Rifle and thanks for checking out this video. In this one I have compiled 10 easter eggs around the division, so on that note I hope you all end up enjoying my lineup. And if you do enjoy this, please consider leaving a like, it's greatly appreciated. But let's jump into this. The first three are located right outside of the base of operations. You will notice a ton of missing people posters up against the wall. The first one I'll show you all is referencing toward Tom Clancy himself. As you can see, the name of the missing person is Vom Clancy, or something like that, from Chicago, Illinois. But if you look closely at the description of this poster, it says, Last seen in New York, and the H is silent, which is referencing the name stated for the missing person, Tom Clancy, not Thom. I don't know why I even said that. The next one on the wall is referencing Rick and Morty TV series. As you can see, the description for this missing person says last seen screaming wubba lubba dub dub, which is the catchphrase Rick uses in the show, mostly in season one. He uses this phrase every time he is happy or makes a joke. Pretty creative. The last reference though I'm going to be showing you on this wall of missing people is the Joker from Batman. For all you Batman fans out there, as you can see his name is Joker Nicholson. And the description for him states that he frequently says, Why so serious? Which, as you guys know, that's what the Joker says. But, uh, anyways, for this next one, it's an obvious reference toward Mr. Bean. If you come around here located on the map, you can find a lazy boy on top of a car with someone strapped in. This one is actually referencing Mr. Bean driving on top of a car in a recliner using a mop. A genius but hilarious scene might I add. Speaking of genius, this fifth one is about Howard Phillips Lovecraft's story Call of Cthulhu. I believe that's how it's pronounced. It will be located right around here on the map. I did a little research and it seems Cthulhu is described as an ancient entity of immense power that manipulates the minds of humans, also known as Ogopogo. He first appears in H.P. Lovecraft's The Call of Cthulhu, like I just mentioned before, but remains a recurring presence and force throughout the stories. There has been cults, and maybe still are cults around, who worships this entity. As you can see, though, in the game, you can find a graffiti of a giant octopus head on top of this man's head, which is a clear representation of manipulating or taking control of the man. Cthulhu is described to be very giant, with an octopus head, a scaly body, and wings attached to it. Very freaky looking. And not to mention, down below this graffiti is a bunch of dead rats on the table, which is what I'm guessing was a part of the cult's sacrifice. For the sixth one, this is a little less darker. It's referencing the movie Home Alone. If you come around here on the map, between 38th and 36th Street, you can find a phone recording that is titled Home Alone. And in the dialogue for the phone recording, it's about a boy who is home alone that calls his dad for help. Uh, I'll go ahead and play it for you guys to listen in for yourself, though. Dad? All routes in and out of Manhattan will remain closed until quarantine is lifted. Hey, buddy. What's wrong? I think they're trying to break in. Open up! Police! Don't open. Call 911. You're not picking up. Dad, you've got to come home. I'm trying, buddy, but the goddamn bridge. You're breaking down the door. How? Did you get the gun from my desk? What? Go get the gun. Dad! All right, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Now, this next one just blows my mind away. The crazy thing about it is how simple of an Easter egg it is, and I've seen a lot of Easter eggs in my years of gaming. This one is referencing Ubisoft's game Far Cry. If you head to around here on the map, it will be located back here in this tinted window that you can't really see through because of the annoying reflection. Now this one is going to be very difficult to spot just because of that annoying reflection in the window. But if you use the sticky bomb and create some darkness on the window, you can spot a very hidden easter egg that actually says Far Cry. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorites in the game because of how hidden and tricky it is to spot out. The next one will be located in the Lexington Event Center though. Once you get down in the bottom, after taking the elevator, you can spot out a bunch of mannequins with knives, with a dead soldier beneath them. This environment that we are in and the mannequins here are actually referencing the first episode of Doctor Who. There are some killer mannequins that the cast encounter in an area that looks very similar to this place actually. And they end up having to take an elevator to escape from these killer mannequins. And as you can see, this dead soldier didn't quite make it to the elevator. Anyways, these next two will be located in the meat locker safe house. And no, this will not be wrapping up the video. I have one more that I want to show you all. I know this would actually be 10 if we included both of these two, but I just figured I'd bundle these two together because they are literally together. You can find some board games in this safe house that are referencing some of Ubisoft's games. 
as you can see, one of them is Grow Home, which was developed by Ubisoft, and the other one is Rayman Raving Rabbits, which is also developed by Ubisoft. Pretty cool, small little references, especially if you played the games. Not to mention, you can actually find these board games in other locations as well. This is just one location that I know of. As for the last and final Easter egg I have for you guys in this video is referencing Leonardo's Katanas, which I've actually showed you guys already Michelangelo's nunchucks, you know, from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And if you haven't seen that one, I'll leave a video of it in the description. I also bundled four other Easter eggs in that one as well. But yeah, this one is actually referencing Leonardo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because, you know, he uses the katanas. And as you can see, katanas are placed above the pizza box, just like Michelangelo's nunchucks were placed above the pizza box. And as we know how much Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles favored pizza, definitely a clear reference. And I'm sure if these two were referenced in the game, the other two Ninja Turtles should be in the game somewhere as well. Well their weapons on top of a pizza box. Just a guess, though, I haven't actually found the other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Easter eggs, but who knows, maybe even Master Splinter will be in here. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's about wrapping up this video. I hope you guys end up enjoying this lineup. As always, though, I'm going to leave a friendly reminder for you all to show some support by leaving a like on the video. It's greatly appreciated. This actually took me a little while to compile together. My goal is to surpass 700 likes on this. That would be freaking awesome and greatly appreciated. I know it's a long shot, but I typically get more than 700 views on each of my videos. So if some of you guys just took a little bit of your time to show some support by leaving a like, this wouldn't really be that long of a shot to surpass. I mean, hey, I can't ask for too much, though. At least you came here and viewed my content. That's just as appreciated. But this has been your rifle. Remember to stay safe out there, everyone, and subscribe if you haven't for a lot more Division content to come. Peace.